into renewable energy. And that's why we're here today. So we need clean, we need cheaper, and we need homegrown power. We need it big and we need it fast. And that's why we propose to further increase our 2030 target for renewable energy up to 45% now. It means a renewable energy capacity of around 1,250 gigawatt by 2030. Just to put it in a frame, today we have 340 gigawatt of wind and solar in the European Union, or 500 gigawatt if you take biomass into the calculation. So it is thanks to you today, too, that the European, U European Union goals are totally within reach. The declaration that you will sign today here commits to multi multiply by seven the current offshore wind capacity in the Baltic Sea region. That's amazing. To up to 20 gigawatt by 2030. This is already one third of the overall EU ambition for offshore wind by 2030, one third. So it is evident by working together, we can achieve more and quicker. That's the task of the day. The benefits of regional cooperation are immense. When offshore wind turbines are connected to multiple countries, the costs are reduced, the impact on the environment is minimized, and the energy production never goes to waste because it can flow towards different markets at different times. This is where solidarity meets sustainability and security of supply. Now, we at the European Commission will be supporting your work in every possible way, from planning to permitting to financing. We back with full support the regional cooperation initiatives like this. Since 2008, we have worked closely together through the Baltic Energy Market Interconnection Plan. You all know it as BMIP, the BMIP High Level Group. This exemplary cooperation is on track to fully integrate the electricity systems of the Baltic states with the rest of the European Union by 2025 already. I know we have to accelerate. That's the goal also, to be faster there. So we need a lot of smart brains and, of course, the financing to accelerate that goal. This Baltic electricity system integration has received continuous support from the European budget with more than 1.2 billion euros in financing. And here in Copenhagen today, we are just building on that momentum. I want to highlight at the very end three specific points where we can accelerate the investment in offshore wind. First, let's agree to make hybrid projects a priority when planning interconnectors and offshore generation. Hybrid projects which connect wind farms to more than one member state save up to 10% of the total project costs. The Commission is ready to work with you to identify the incentives and, of course, to overcome the possible bottlenecks. There are always bottlenecks. So let us know so that we work on that. A great example of cross-border cooperation is the Elwind offshore wind project between Estonia and Latvia. And I have good news. Today, the Commission selected Elwind as an so-called important cross-border project, so a PCI. And you know, this is good news because this makes it eligible for EU funding. Secondly, let's make rapid progress with grid network development plans based on common offshore commitments. The Commission with NSOE will prepare by September technical guidance to support you in this work. And finally, let's provide the political backing to accelerate the permitting. We all know that this is one of the biggest bottlenecks. We have put forward a proposal on the table with Repower EU. You, the member states, define the go-to areas. And if you do have done that, then the deployment of renewables and their connection to the grid is an overriding public interest. That's important because then we can fast forward the permitting in, within one year. So this should qualify for the most favorable procedures available in your country. Let's make it real. Let's do it fast.
Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, we'll just proceed to the third and uh, final speaker, the Prime Minister of Poland.